morning um it's friday here and it's a very dull and dingy day here in the uk in february um my name's sam and uh yeah welcome to the handmade bookmakery also known as the back half of my living room <laughs> it sounds so um it sounds so posh <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to pop on today um, to show um, the, the watercolour sort of stencil technique I've been using and showing on Instagram for the last few days as part of my 100 day project. Um, I saw a post, uh, a couple of posts on Instagram using this technique and I, um, I've been loving it. It's such fun and there's been quite a few questions. Um, from people about how it was done and it's super simple and um, so I thought I would share that and I also at the end of the video will be sharing the results of my 100 subscriber giveaway. Very exciting. So this is a really simple technique for making background papers. Um, I am using copy paper. Um, I've done it on other heavier papers etc. I haven't tried it on watercolour paper or um, a, sorry I'm just opening my pot of tea. Um, I haven't used it on like mixed media paper or watercolour paper yet um, but I'm making collage materials so actually I want it to be thin and light so copy paper is a really good idea. And basically, you lay down a wash of wet watercolour, then you place some stencils on top, and then you dab in more watercolour, and you let it dry a bit, and then you take the stencils off. And it is as simple as that, but you get some really cool watery effects. So let me just find and show you a couple. Sorry, I thought I was prepared, but I'm not. Let me find a couple that I've done. I think I showed some of these in the last video. Um... It's a less successful one there. So this is a less, so these are less successful. And this is what happens if you take your stencil off before it's dry enough. Um, so can you see here, um, you get these really beautiful um, sort of organic marks. It obviously depends on the stencil you use. Here's another one where I've taken it off too soon. And can you see a lot of the design has washed away? So it was drier here. I didn't dry enough here. It's still a nice piece of background paper, but it's not as good. Um, this one's a bit bright, but now that's, so those were done with, watercolours and these were done with more expensive watercolours just because I wanted to use the colours I had and you can see this granulation here these are Daniel Smith watercolours but these two were done using um distress ink as the sort of colours um so um I quite like to get mileage out of my products um and distress reinkers I use for quite a few things this being one of them and I also make sprays out of them and I think this would probably work with sprays as well and I might give that a go in a minute um so let me grab a couple of stencils and I will show you how to do this right I might try a couple of different ones I might try this quite simple one here right so I've got this um like Moroccan tile stencil here and I'm a bit bored of those other ones this is the thing doing something like this just makes me want more stencils and I might try this little leafy guy here can you see those yes you can right I did try and film some of this process when I was doing it yesterday but I was completely out of frame and you couldn't see anything so that was useless um right I've got boxes of reinkers here I'm going to move out of the way they are impeding my stencil. So what I've got here is a little uh, palette and I've just used um, Distress Reinkers, dropped them in and um, sprayed in a bit of water to let them down a bit. Um, might need a little bit more water in there actually. Um, so I'm just going to add a little bit more of this um, Rustic Wilderness. A couple of drops, that's all you need. 
So it does go a long way and then a little bit of this um, bundled sage. This is quite a pale colour. Okay, so to start, you need to get your paper wet. And the reason you need to get the paper wet is because the stencil needs to stick to it. Okay, so I saw this on Instagram posted by um, Char de Rouen. Um, that's C H A R D E R O U I N, and I also and she had linked to where she'd seen the technique, which was on the Sten at Stencil Girl Products page. Um, and it's really cool. So yesterday, when I was experimenting, I also thought that um, you could use something else to wet the paper, uh, and I'm going to just wash it with tea. Um, so. When you lay the stencil down, kind of where the stencil makes contact with the wet paper, that kind of preserves what's underneath. So you could just leave it white. Um, you could put a colour underneath, but I quite like the effect and the idea. So on your wet paper, you just want to make sure this is making as much contact as possible like this and put the way like this okay and then with a wet brush you just start to paint a bit more water so you want to keep it quite wet but you don't well, the more wet you get it, the longer it's going to take to dry, basically. So I'm using bundled sage here. This is not sticking down very well. Let's get some wet in here. And you can always go back in and just get a bit more tea on there. And actually using the tea will make your um, colours go further. Right, what are we going to go for now? A bit of darker green. So we'll do a bit of this um, rustic wilderness, keeping it sort of watery at the moment. I'm going to intensify the colour in a minute, but it really is kind of a, a foolproof um, thing. Well, not completely foolproof because some of them haven't worked as well as others. Um, what do we want now? I don't know what this green is here. Right, I need something a bit more intense now. So let's just try a bit of this uh, seedless preserves. And you can build up the colour to make it as dark or as light as you want it to be. And this is Dusty Concord, I think. Dusty Concord. I've got some um, hickory smoke here for something a bit darker. And these are going to be ripped up as well, so I'm not making, you know, a piece of perfect art. Okay, we'll see what that's done. Right, you may wish to, I will try and cut this out actually, this dry. Right, I totally meant to wait till it was all dry and then lift those off with the uh, heat tool off. Um, but I've loved this one. So it's not totally dry, it's by no stretch a bone dry piece of paper. But what I've tried to do is, although I didn't wait there, I'm so impatient, that's why a lot of them haven't worked out for me, because I'm too impatient to lift the stencil and see what's underneath. So if we lift this one up, you can see I've got a wet mark, and I'm going to blast that in there. I'm hoping that's dry enough to pick up now, she says. Here we go. Okay. So, 
you know you can see this washy thing and where the where the colours gathered and sort of stuck to the plastic of the stencil you get these dark marks um it's not the best one I've done but um sorry it's wearing and floppy but you can see the idea and you can see the effect and that you can just play you know you just play right let me get rid of that one so I wanted to see whether it would work with like um sprays which I can't see a reason why it wouldn't so let's just get this out of the way um we grab a couple of sprays what do we want to do reds no i don't know um oh maybe let's try sort of blues and blue and gray i've got pumice stone faded jeans uh new antique linen maybe Hickory smoke is grey. It's going to be the last one. The speckled egg, maybe. There you go, blueprint scratch. Squatch? Sketch. Um, so there's some sprays. These are inexpensive mini sprayers, misters um, from Amazon. And I just put in water and again use my distress reinkers to make little sprays um they take up less space than the full size bottles it's certainly more cost effective than the large size bottles um so i have reinkers that i don't have ink pads for um because i'm not using them for stamping um so yeah it's a good way to get the colors and take up less space um right so let's give this a go i'm going to do the tea thing again Okay. You know, it's a messy process. You can obviously lay some paper down. This is, my desk is covered with like um, a leftover kitchen worktop stuff. Um, what do I want to use? I really like using these stencils where I've cut the edges off. Um, it's curling up again. Okay. okay these ones i keep repeating this same kind of design because I, I like that i like that stencil so much um let's try oops this one which has got a nice organic pattern there you go down and what else what haven't i used We'll just have a little bit of this poking in at the end. I'm running out of space to move things to. Excuse me. I've just kind of moved everything that was on my desk out like this. And now, and now I can't. Um, yeah. Like, now I can't. So, I've got my sprays. Let's go with some speckled egg to start with. I'm going to try to do a subtle one, but um, <laughs> I don't fancy my chances. Subtle. There isn't this, that's not really going to show up over the tea. Let's get some hickory smoke. Okay. And then... Okay, with the faded jeans. The problem with sprays is I tend to get carried away and um, it ends up swimming. And then we'll go for some slightly brighter colour. Uh, this is the blueprint sketch. Cool. I don't know what I'm going to use these colours for, but we'll find out. Want anything to contrast? What about adding in some vintage photo? I do my vintage photo in a bigger, ugh, in a bigger um, bottle because I use that more. It's very watered down, and compared to how much is in the um, 
you know, when you buy the distress, distress spray, the vintage photo was so intense. Um, I usually ended up sort of taking two thirds of the bottle out and adding water. Um, uh, so that does make that last longer, but some of the other paler tones are as sort of fine as they are. Right, let me give this a blast. Okay, so I've had a little clear up and this one is soggy but dry. And you can see again, again, I'm rush, I'm rushing because I'm filming. Um, and I think also uh, the law of YouTube video is that things perhaps don't turn out, never turn out quite as well when you're filming as they do when you're not. Um, that's something I'm experiencing. Also, um, my stencil had um, some other colours on it from the previous time and they reactivated in there, but I don't mind that. Um, and actually adding the vintage photo has made this into colours I might use, to be honest. I know that they're sort of all greyed out and grungy, um, but that's what I like. Um, and you can see here where the stencils made contact um, and has actually just sort of left the the tea stain there. Um, or if you haven't done that, if you'd just done a water wash, that would be white paper. So, um, yeah, I think they're pretty. I think they're going to be really useful, um, torn up and used um, in collage and just backgrounds and little little things. <laughs> I don't know what things. Um, yeah, I think they're really pretty and it's really easy and it's really fun. Um, and probably if you have a warmer climate <laughs> um, or more patience than me, it will be even better. So these are not the best ones I've done. These two I've just created, but you get the idea. Sorry, I'm bending down um, to get the other one back. Okay, they're a bit mucky, um, but there you go. So yeah, a couple more pretty papers. Um, let's get rid of these. And I'm going to tell you who's won the giveaway. So I, yesterday, which was the deadline, um, I um, put, I found a sort of random number generator wheel um, and counted up the the comments, which were 16 um, under the giveaway video. Um, sorry, no, there are a couple more than that. Um, I can't remember, maybe it was 16. Anyway, I will insert in a moment the little video of the little wheel turning and picking the number. Um, so here it is. Okay, so the winner is number eight. And what I did was I pulled up the comment. So this is the eighth comment as they appear on my computer. And I know that looking between my phone, my iPad and my computer on YouTube, things appear differently in different formats. So this was on my laptop. It was the eighth comment made or the eighth comment down the list. And the winner is Dot Oaks. So Dot are you stumbling stitch on Instagram? I think you are. Um, and if you watch this and see this, uh, do get in touch with me and I will try and get in touch with you to get some details of where to send this botanical journal, which is the giveaway prize. Um, so yes, thank you everybody who watched and commented on that video. Thank you all the people who've come along um, and joined uh, and subscribe to the, my channel since then. I'm really enjoying doing this um, and I'm really enjoying um, the feedback and the comments and things like that. I'm sorry if I'm a bit slow to get back sometimes. It's just life, family life, health um, and whether my brain's working or not. Um, but I am really, really enjoying hearing from people um, and I've been met with such um, encouragement and kindness. So thank you. Um, everybody have a good day. Stay safe. Congratulations, Dot. And um, I look forward to seeing you soon.